Today in this 2018 Ram 3500, we'll be having a look at and showing you how to install the B&W Turnover Ball Underbed Gooseneck Trailer Hitch with Custom Installation Kit. Part number BWGNRK1314. Here's what our gooseneck looks like installed. What's great about this system is that every bit of it is underneath the bed of our truck. By being an underbed system, we allow our bed to be free of clutter and we have full access to it. We'll show you that now. Here's what it looks like in the bed. As you'll notice, our round hole here where our gooseneck head is, is completely flush with our bed. Our safety chain loops here are about even with our corrugation. So if we were to lay a sheet of plywood across it, it would still sit basically flush with the bed of our truck. If we have a look down inside the center section of our gooseneck, we can see the pin which will secure our ball into place, regardless of the position we have it in. Our ball can be inserted in any angle because the pinhole is cross-drilled on all four sides. This way, it's not critical how you have it positioned when you're inserting it. When our ball is in place for the towing position, it'll look like this. When we're not towing our trailer, we can release our handle, pull the ball straight up, flip it over, lower it down inside, and it'll sit flush at the bed of our truck and be stored in a position where we can easily access it when we do need to tow our trailer. Has a nice finger hook right here you can grab a hold of to pull it out. Our safety chain loops are spring loaded. So when we pull up onto them to hook our safety chains on, once we let go, they'll spring back down to maintain a clean look. Our ball is secured into place by the pin, which is spring loaded and stores it in any position. Operating our latch is super easy. We'll grab the handle and the driver's side wheel well, pull it out, then move it towards the front of the truck. It'll latch into place, which means it's only a one person operation to grab the ball out from the stored position to flip it over to the towing position or vice versa. Once you have the ball in the position that you want, you can grab the handle, move it towards the back of the truck and release it. It'll spring itself closed onto the ball, locking it into place. As far as towing capacity goes, this hitch with its 2 and 5 16 ball features a 30,000 pound max gross trailer weight rating and a 7,500 pound vertical load limit. You want to make sure that you consult with the owner's manual of your Ram and not exceed what the vehicle is rated for. Now our customers are saying that they're really impressed with the quality of this hitch. Many of them like the fact that it's made right here in the United States. Some others have said that they were really impressed with how fast and easy it is to install. Some of them have said it's only taken them about an hour and a half to install it. And I agree with them. Of all the trucks out there and all the goosenecks that I've installed, this particular hitch on the Ram is by far the easiest of them all. And now that we've gone over some features, we'll show you how to get it installed. To begin our install, we find ourselves underneath our truck. We went ahead and removed our spare tire so we have more room to work. We're going to remove our heat shield for our spare tire now. There's five bolts that hold it in place. We'll have three right here, and then one in this general area here, and another one here. They're all the same, so they'll look like this. They're 10 millimeter bolts. With those bolts removed, we can set this aside. Now we need to lower our exhaust. In order to do that, we need to remove this hanger. So we'll spray a little lubricant on it so it'll slide off easier. Then we'll use a pry bar to pry it away and off the hanger. Now further up on our tailpipe section by our muffler, there's a clamp that holds the tailpipe into the muffler. There's a 15 millimeter nut. If you loosen this nut, we can remove the tailpipe section and have plenty of room to work. With that loose, we can loosen the clamp. Use a pry bar to just pry it apart. 
Now we can remove the exhaust. With our exhaust out of the way, we now have a great shot of the hole in the frame of our truck where our gooseneck ball will go through. We need to make a hole in the bed of our truck. Now we'll take our template, stick it inside this hole. It's a nice snug fit, and we'll take a small drill bit and make a pilot hole. We find ourselves in the bed of our truck now. Right here in the center, this is where our pilot hole was, where we drilled through our template. Now we need to enlarge this hole to the appropriate size indicated in the instructions using a hole saw. Now in order to help prevent rust, we'll take some paint and go along the edge where we cut out. If you have a spray and bed liner, you can just use black spray paint. Since we don't, we'll just use clear coat because then you won't be able to tell the difference between any of the colors of your bed. We're back underneath now. We have this bolt bracket here. We're gonna slide this on top of our cross member so that the well nuts line up with the holes in our cross member. So we'll slide this in from the side over the top of our frame. And we'll push it into place. Just like that. We'll do the same for both sides. Now we need to place a spacer block around the hole. This will go between the bed and the cross member. This flat side here, not this side, will face up towards the bed. So we'll find a spot to start sliding it in place. And we'll make sure it's centered over our hole. All right, that looks pretty good. This is the center section of our gooseneck. We're gonna bolt this to those handles that we installed earlier using these bolts. It'll go through these holes. This section here will face towards the driver's side and the offset hole for the ball, the short end will go towards the front of the truck. We'll have an extra set of hands to help us lift this into place. With one bolt started on each side, it'll hold its weight up and we can install the rest now. With all of our bolts now in place, we can tighten them down. Now we'll take our carriage bolts and we'll insert them through our handle. We need to pull on the latch a little bit in order to get the bolt through. We'll now take our handle. We'll slide it over the frame of our truck. Flip it up. Go over the bolts and we'll secure it with our flange nuts. Now we'll tighten down those nuts. Now we'll torque all of our hardware to the amount specified in the instructions. Now we'll take our template for our safety chain loops. We'll place it so that the holes in our template are closest to the rear of the truck. And we'll place it over the hole for our gooseneck ball. Take our gooseneck ball and we'll drop it through, making sure that our safety pin is already in place to help hold it up, and this will hold our template still. We'll now take a small drill bit and go through the appropriate holes and make a pilot hole. Now there's two layers. We have the truck bed plus the frame to go through. We'll do the same for all four locations.
With all of our pilot holes made, we can remove the ball and the template and we'll enlarge these holes to the appropriate size indicated in the instructions. With our holes now enlarged, we'll spray some clear coat around them so we don't have rust issues, just like we did with the hole for the gooseneck ball. Now we'll take our safety chain loops and we'll drop those through our holes. Okay, underneath the bed of our truck now, these are our safety chain U-bolts. Take one of our springs, the small side will face down. Place it over the bolt. And we'll thread on one of our nuts. And we'll repeat this process for all four corners of our U-bolts. And now we'll tighten the nuts until they're flush with the end of the U-bolts. Now on the driver's side, of our vehicle where the handle is for our gooseneck latch. We'll install the sticker on the frame. This way, people know how to operate it properly. Now we can reinstall our exhaust and heat shield. And that completes our look at and showing you how to install the B&W Turnover Ball Underbed Gooseneck Trailer Hitch with Custom Installation Kit, part number BWGNRK1314 on this 2018 Ram 3500. Thanks for watching. Click the link in our description below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com. And leave us a comment if you have any questions.